One question many people have when making the move to assisted living is what do I need to bring with me? This is a great question, but I think the more important question to ask is what should I not bring with me? In today's video, we'll talk about what you should bring with you and how to think about downsizing. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Rob King from Valley Senior Advisors. We help seniors find the best senior living options in the Phoenix area and our services are 100% free. Before we get started, download the Essential Arizona Assisted Living Guide for free at valleyseniordvisors.com forward slash assisted living guide or click the link in the description. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. When moving into assisted living, it's best to start the downsizing process early. It can be good to start planning as early as two months before your move-in date. This is important because it gives you time to organize and plan what you'll bring with you. One of the first things you should consider is what furniture you'll need to bring. Most of the time, assisted living communities are unfurnished and you'll need to bring furniture for your apartment. You'll want to take time to measure the space or get a floor plan of the apartment so you know that everything you plan to bring will fit. You'll also want to plan out where you'll put your furniture ahead of time. Starting with the bedroom, the furniture you'll want to bring is a full or twin-sized bed. You'll want to downsize from a king or queen-sized bed for a couple of reasons. Number one, most assisted living apartments are smaller than the standard apartment and a king or queen bed will take up a lot of space in the bedroom. And number two, a large bed can make it difficult for caregivers to help you in and out of bed when needed. You'll also wanna bring a small dresser. Assisted living apartments will have closets to hang clothes, but you'll also wanna bring a dresser for your smaller clothing items. Onto the living room, you'll wanna bring your favorite chair or recliner. You'll also wanna bring a small love seat so you have additional seating for visitors. Of course, you'll wanna bring a TV with you and make sure it fits in a spot where you can see it from your chair. For your dining area, you'll want to bring a cafe table or a drop leaf table. Many times, the dining areas in assisted living apartments are small and can't fit larger dining tables. You'll only need to bring one or two chairs for the table rather than a set of four. As far as furniture goes, the things you can leave behind are large coffee tables, any entryway furniture like benches or console tables, a desk, and any large decorative furniture. The next thing you'll want to think about is the clothing you'll bring with you. Depending on what your wardrobe looks like, you may need to downsize some of your clothing so it fits in your apartment. The first thing you want to make sure is to bring clothing for all four seasons. You'll also want to bring a robe, pajamas and slippers, coats and outdoor footwear, and leisure wear to participate in activities at the community. The next thing you'll want to tackle is kitchen items. You may not do as much cooking in assisted living because most communities have two to three meals provided each day. Also, some assisted living communities have efficiency kitchens and may not have full-sized appliances, but it's still a good idea to bring some kitchen items with you so you have them if needed. It's a good idea to bring one of each kitchen utensil, so a spatula, wooden spoon, can opener, etc. You'll want to bring two to four sets of plates, bowls, and eating utensils, and a basic set of pots and pans. You may also want to bring small appliances that you use that don't take up much counter space or can be easily stored away. The things you should downsize are extra dinnerware sets, fine china, and all larger appliances. Next are linens and toiletries. This one is pretty straightforward. You want to bring one to two sets of bed linens, one to two of your favorite blankets, two to four sets of towels, and any toiletries you use. And last but not least are decorations, hobbies, and sentimental items. Most assisted living apartments have less surface area for decorations, but there's plenty of wall space for hanging art and family photos. We recommend leaving behind breakable decorations or anything that's bulky and takes up floor space. Bringing sentimental items is important because it helps to transform your new apartment to your new home. It's best to bring smaller sentimental items that will easily fit in your apartment. Any larger sentimental items you can either store away or give to a loved one for safekeeping. If you have any hobbies like knitting or playing card games, you can easily bring those with you. You may have to leave behind any larger hobby items like sewing machines or large collectibles. Now I will say, if there are any large items you absolutely need to bring with you, there's always the option to look for a larger assisted living apartment. You may want to consider a two bedroom unit where you'll have more space for your things. 
Of course, these will be more expensive, so it's important to weigh the pros and cons of having more space. I hope these tips were helpful, and if you have any questions about downsizing or what to bring with you to assisted living, give us a call and we'd be happy to help. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of when we post new videos. YouTube thinks you may also like this video. Go ahead and click it and let us know what you think. If Valley Senior Advisors can help you find senior living, give us a call. Until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.